Yo, I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. In this video, we're going to be going over some of the best weapon leveling locations in New World. So we have several of them to go over in this video, and I would encourage you to hang out until the very end of the video, because the very last location we're going to go over is a little bit different than the other four. We're going to go over a total of five of these locations, all of which are viable options to level your weapons. Some are a little bit better than others, but all of them are viable. One thing to note before we get started is that one of the locations is not going to be dead man's cove if you are a returning player that used to play the game back in the day dead man's cove was kind of a go-to spot for weapon leveling that is no longer the case with the brimstone sands update dead man's cove was nerfed to very low level mobs and it's not worth going there anymore to level weapons so i just wanted to get that out of the way before we started on all of these other locations so let's jump right in here the first location i want to show you guys is called misty burrow it's in southern great cleave in the wayward mounts area so make sure you run past the iridune graveyard before you start pulling groups of mobs that is not where you want to start you want to go on into the area just south of there so this area is full of level 47 to 48 lost enemies and you have to be very careful not to leash the enemies here there's several pulls that you'll make each yielding a decent amount of weapon experience but if you pull the enemies too far away from one another they will leash and it is very easy to lose aggro and if you lose aggro on the groups of mobs then your weapon leveling experience is obviously not very efficient a couple of things to point out here as you're running through this particular area area is there there is a lot of weaving in and out of these little cottages or in and out of these little houses so you'll see here in just a second i get myself stuck in a couple of pretty sticky situations ideally you'll want to go in there be very mindful to not get yourself stuck uh, by jumping out of windows etc and then pull them down here to like these little courtyard areas that's where you'd want to kill them you don't really want to try to burn them down inside of the house so like for example here whenever we run up this house i get stuck here in the corner because i jumped out of the wrong window or tried to jump out of the the wrong window right there that's not ideal because i could have easily gotten killed here uh if i wasn't careful you got to make sure that you're careful coming in here in this particular house you want to jump out of that window and then the mobs will all run down to that courtyard area and you can burn them down there that example uh, plays out throughout the rest of this clip but for now i'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the route and then we'll pick up uh in the next weapon leveling location
so now you can see that we're back at the beginning back at these two cottages here you're just gonna run in the cottages you're gonna grab these two mobs out because by the time you've ran this entire loop everything starts to spawn back so it's just kind of an infinite loop you can run over and over and over so you're gonna start right back at square one grab these two mobs then continue on with the route so now let's check out location number two which is gonna be called the defiler excavation this location is also in great cleave but it's more in the center part of the zone once you get here make sure you run all the way up the road into the path until you can actually go into the mine area of this zone this is where you're going to be farming your mobs at this is where the weapon xp is it's basically an infinite respawn loop of mobs there's only about three or four pulls in here and it's full of like level 41 to 43 corrupted enemies basically you're going to run into the mine into the center area you're going to make this first pull right here that we're looking at you can pull a bunch of mobs into the very center aoe them down and then you're going to make your way up this little path to the left here whenever you make your way up to the path there's going to be a lot of mobs in the center mine area you're just going to grab all of those kind of rinse and repeat gather them all up aoe them down and then you're going to move up the path that you see right in front of you up there kind of along the ridge line you're going to get another pull and then after that pull you're basically going to jump off of the side of a cliff into the uh, mine uh, entrance again and then you're going to run into the mine entrance and just kind of rinse and repeat over and over and over so i'll let you guys take a look at the rest of this run and then we'll move on to the next location. This is the last pull of the rotation here. After you knock down that pull, you can jump off the side of this cliff here all the way down, go back into the cave or back into the mine and then rinse and repeat and start this run all over again. The next location we are going to be taking a look at is called Channel View Post in the northern part of Restless Shore. So there's actually two outposts here, one called Channel View, one called Ocean View. They're both very, very similar. There's really not a massive explanation needed for for these pools really all you do is you run into the front door this it, channel view and ocean view are both just in a circle so you're going to run around through here pull these lost mobs they're roughly uh 43 44 ish level lost mobs you're going to pull them group them up into a a mob you're going to kill all of them and then you're going to rinse and repeat so you're going to get these large groups of mobs uh by running around in a circle rinse and repeat if you kill them all at channel view you can then go over to ocean view if they haven't spawned back yet and then bounce between these two outposts very good experience this is probably one of the best weapon leveling places in new world but it usually is very camped so if this place is camped then you can obviously go use some of the other uh locations and if one channel view or ocean view is camped then a lot of times somebody will just camp one of them channel view or ocean view and leave the other one open so you can just kind of wait around for the mobs to spawn back uh if you want to go that route as well they do spawn back pretty quickly uh but no long explanation needed here for this one there's really no reason to show you the entire route it's just literally a circle pick up the mob and then move on.
The next area we're going to talk about is called Hibbetsfield. This area is located in the northern part of Morningdale and it contains level 50 corrupted enemies. Hibbetsfield also has several cornfields within the area, making this a great place to farm additional resources as you farm weapon experience if you choose to do that. This is pretty much just a circle as the other ones are as well. You can just run around these fields, gather up the corrupted mobs, burn them down and rinse and repeat. By the time you get all the way through the route and back to the beginning, everything spawned back and then you can just run Run the route pretty much infinitely one thing to point out here though is that a lot of these pools are not quite as large as some of the other areas there are a few very good pools in this area but they are not super consistent you'll have a few at the very beginning you'll have a couple of decent pools near the end and then some smaller ones in between making this not as lucrative to farm weapon xp as some of the other spots but some of the other spots are farmed this is still a place you can come and level your weapons up pretty efficiently if you choose to do so so we're going to take a look at the rest of this run and then we'll talk about the very last location which is going to be much different than anything we've talked about so far This is the very end of the run. You're just going to make your way back to the first fields that you are at, and you're going to start this loop all over again. So you're going to come back to here. You're going to go back into the fields. You're going to gather up the corrupted mobs here in these corn fields, and then you're just going to rinse and repeat the run again. And you're going to do this over and over and over until your weapons are leveled. 
The last place we're going to go is going to be down in Southern Great Cleve. You see here, you start at Fort Alazar Shrine. You make your way up north until you come to this tent right here. This tent is located just above the forts in Southern Great Cleve. And once you make your way to this tent, a series of events is going to trigger. You see here, we have to kill nine corrupted enemies. This is part of the quest. This is just an ongoing quest that you can get over and over and over in this area. As we're killing these enemies, you will see that we're not getting a ton of weapon experience. But the big payoff is at the very end of this quest so after we kill those nine you see another part of the quest triggers we now have to kill five more of these enemies and then after we kill five another section will trigger where we have to kill a few more and then finally at the very end captain thorpe will spawn out of a portal this is where the big payoff is for your weapon levels once you kill captain thorpe you will gain a lot of weapon leveling experience as you see here we gained over 1200 experience from killing that one mob so it does take a little while to get to the payoff because you have to go through all of these uh steps to get there but the payoff is very good and you can sit here and do this over and over and over once you finish this quest all you have to do is stand here at the tent or just stand in the general vicinity and the quest will restart again and it just keeps going over and over so you can repeat this as many times as you would like you can just sit here and farm as much weapon xp as you want to and continue to get the very big payoffs from killing captain thorpe many many times so this one is much different than the other areas if you get tired of grinding mobs and just grouping up big groups of mobs you can come here uh, for a little bit of a change of pace this is very good also for some single target weapon leveling because you can kill captain thorpe uh and just and just boost your weapon level experience because sometimes uh weapons like the musket and the life staff are a little bit trickier to level because they are so single target it's hard to group mobs up and just aoe them down so this place could be an option for those uh weapons if you so choose well that'll do it for this one boys and girls thank you guys so much for watching i greatly appreciate it if this video helps you out in any way if you just enjoy new world content please make sure to like and subscribe i greatly appreciate it helped me out a ton and uh if you want to come catch us live we're live every monday through friday over twitch.tv slash bdlg at about eight o'clock a.m cst we play a lot of new world and uh just talk about all kinds of things talk about life in general and uh, and have a lot of fun over there so make sure to come swing by there we'd love to have you over there it's a great time uh but that'll do it thank you guys once again for being here i appreciate it we'll see you in the next one